Welcome to John Maddox on Anderson's TV and we'll give you a quick sneaky preview of what's in this box but I'm going to give it to him. So this is Jeff Davenport from Remo. Tell us about this head. So uh, this head is designed uh, for silent playing or as near silent as you can get by hitting something. Um, Remo have been making um, silenty kind of heads for nearly 20 years I guess and uh, for various electronic drum manufacturers and this is the latest of it so there's nothing there it's like a fabric but obviously when you tension that it goes tight uh, and it's still got the aluminium channel and the glue uh, and uh, you can still tension it like a normal drum and get uh, tension you know you're used to playing at if you, you play at high quite high tension um, I don't know what the name of this fabric is but it's jolly good. We'll just call it mesh. We'll just call it mesh. So yeah, the original mesh head um, called Silent Stroke, and you can get these in sizes eight through, all the way through to bass drum, I think. 22s. Yeah, yeah, so you can get these all the way. I think um, you can probably, I think we've special ordered 24s actually. Yeah, 24s. But full kits. Um, we, we've got a kit in store, so if you've got the really cool Zildjian L80 cymbals, you can have cymbals and heads and really have an alternative to an electronic kit. Some people have this whole adverse effect for electronic kits, but with these and some L80s, you have a great practice kit. Uh, it they really do cut the sound down. Yeah. yeah top yeah. tip would obviously put that on the on the top, but people still leave the bottom head. So there is a little bit of air still in there. So imagine this is a mesh, so this the air is going back and forth and this is just wobbling in between, but the bottom head isn't a mesh. So take the bottom head off and you'll get super quiet drums. Hence why most of the sort of V drums have only got one head because right. it's yeah. being quiet. So yeah, check them out, Silent Stroke. They're on the website. They're, they're sort of a, a hidden dark art, aren't they? People yep, don't yep. really know they're there. So yep, yep. put they... them on a second or third kit, put them on your third snare drum that you never use. Um, yeah, a great, uh, great addition to um, any, any setup. Yeah, and you can have a practice pad that looks cool because it's a real drum. It, it, they are yeah, super cool things. So check out the links below, obviously. Now, now I'm going fencing. That's what I'm doing now. <laughs> um, check out the links below, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching the Anderton's Drum Channel. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you're a guitar player or a bass player, you play keyboards or you're into music technology, we've got other YouTube channels that you might be interested in and I'll put links to those in the description below. Anyway, if you want to find out more about the products we showed in this video, please click up here. If you'd like to watch another video from the Drum Channel, please click over here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this one or in lots of other colors, click down here. And finally, if you'd like to subscribe to the Anderton's Drum Channel, please click down here. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.